welcome to the PartyPoker.net World Open for its semi-final time. Seven will be on this table tonight. Only three take their chips forward to the final table, and they have to decide. Lie down and inch up the prize pool, or make that golden move to take a big stack to the final. Let's see who's on the table. William Pretty Boy Martin doesn't fear anyone on the felt. His biggest poker achievement is taking 14th place at the Irish Open. Then tonight he will be putting his skills to the test. I love the cameras, the cameras love me. Uh, match made in heaven. This current London poker hero, Neil Badby Channing, is on a roll. He won the Irish Open bagging over $1.2 million. Unflappable, unstoppable, unbeatable. Winning this in terms of like winning a large sum of money, it's no big deal. I'm rich now anyway. Dale Hoy from Great Yarmouth knows his way around a poker table, but is yet to win a big event. This is just what he needs to make his mark. Looking forward to today, like we've been buzzing for about the last four days in this, um, this I just can't wait to get this on. Simon Trigger Craig burst through the back door on his way to this semi-final. The lucky loser powered through the turbo and now means to wreak revenge on the Havoc. I mean, this is my first silly wise semi-final, so that's, that's fabulous already. Um, but getting to the semis doesn't mean anything unless you, uh, unless you get to the final. East London's answer to Superman Dixie Dean finds himself with a big chance at the big money. He's steady, he's strong, he's not very silent. If you play with rubbish players, you're just going to, that's all you're going to be. But if you're looking to get better, you've got to come and play with the best. Abby Kaitan certainly is not afraid of the big bad wolf. He booed Sammy George off the table and is ready to stick the boot in the other semi finals. Whole hog, I'm for the whole hog. I, I don't believe in going there with uh, the least amount of chips and getting out first. The difference is hardly anything between 7th and 6th, what's the point? And the 17 and a half ward is one half British deadpan and the other half raving maniac. He lets his game do the talking and those raises sure fly fast. When things are going well, people look around and, and say, how did he get all the chips? <laughs> because hopefully I can just do it without anybody noticing, but it's all in the hands of the gods today, so we'll just um, play our best and see what happens. Looking at the chips on the table, no change in their values. The yellow's worth a thousand, blues are two, reds 5k a piece, a hundred thousand per player. But as we're seven handed, kind of hand. there's 700,000 kind of on the table, and they'll, of course, yeah, all be going to the final. Yeah. And Can't I mean, you talk kind of about dreaming. I'm going to miss about second hand. I'll go in behind. Is this the point of course, of at the tournament when you start to, to allow yourself to dream about that quarter million yeah. dollar first prize? Of, of course you do, Jesse. I mean, yeah. every player uh, on the way here today, they would have yeah, been planning it. how they're going to go about this <laughs> heat, you know, early on. Total. I think it's a major factor, the first two levels, uh, to how it's going to pan out at the end. But Fast. It, you know, it's massive. They all know there's three players going to go through to the final. Every one of them will think they're going to be one of the three. And oh. guys know that if they oh. can kind of I limp in know. to the final three, just get to that final table, of course, they're not shooting themselves in the foot with a shot to still take the title. And, of course, moving up that pay scale as well. <laughs> well, this is well, look, si involved, Simon's called his raise here with a King Jack, and he's hit top pair. And this is straight tough. out of yeah. betting. This well, it's going to be really tough for Andy Ward here. Ten thousand. Especially if he doesn't have a form line on trigger. I said to you, Jesse, I knew he was going to play a bit. For, well, obviously, I, I come here in the same car, and he sort of half told me how he was going to play. I mean, if you're Andy Ward, you're thinking, yeah, well, I need to ask a question. Raised. He's raised him here, 000. Jesse. This could be good. And w Ward's going to get hurt. Is, is trigger going to snap this back up, or well, might he just call? I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. He, you know, he, he might be thinking he, he could have a big pair, you know, an over pair. He could also put him on a couple of clubs. This is quite a nice flop for Trigger to have another another big bet at, you know. Obviously, the re-raise all in. Cool. Cool. And at least he's in. The, he's at least he's in the frame here. You get the feeling that Andy Ward is going to look to just kind of check this one down cheaply. It's a massive pot, Jesse. Look already. Oh, well, he ain't going check. anywhere now, check. Trigger. Oh, nice check. Sixty-three thousand out there. And that card will look safe for check. Andy as far as if he put trigger on some kind of draw, but it's actually given Simon the flush draw. But now he's still got the winner with just the top pair. Should he? Win. All, All in, on. go on, trigger! <laughs> what a move! Uh, 
And that bet is about. so big that it, it almost... Jesse, I swear, I said to him, dude, the quick all in here on the river, if you think you've got the best hand, the quick all in, they think, you, they think it's a bluff and you might get a call. You might have thought it was a friendly game, but realizing you could be the next guy out and only have basically your money back and not the quarter million dollars you've been dreaming exactly. about. Jesse, I was just going to say, $250,000. <coughs> cool. Pass. Nice. You like that call or is no, it weak? Price. No, don't like that. You could tell he wanted to play it, you know, 10 Pass. jack suited, quite nice Pass. cards, but under Pass. the gun, first level, chuck it straight in the bin. And Pass. Dale Hoy has seized on this. Isolating the oh. limper, and you feel it, like that Dale can win any pot that misses. Well, the thing is, uh, Martin they ain't got a clue where he is, Jesse. You know, if he, if he flops Jack Guy 10 eye, he ain't got a clue where he is. He's got the best hand, but will Dale put pressure on with continuation? Check. Well, this Check. will be the telling factor. Check. What does that say to you? Uh, it, says he, it says he's missed. I'd bet now, that, you know. I know, again, it's easy, Jesse. We see all the cards, but just, you know, if you covered the, the screen 8, up, he must come out and bet now, this guy. You see, and if he's going to call this... Re-raise. Oh, he's re-raising, wow. They're flying a different level. That's a strong play. <coughs> Very that is a strong, strong play. play. Very 17, strong. But I mean, just because of that club on the river, on the turn there, can Martin think he's making a play with a, a naked ace of clubs? I'm not so sure. I, th I think he was probably, um, you know, when when Dow checks the flop, he's got it in his mind that he's, you know, he's going to be raising him on the turn. Just he's inviting him to come out and bet. I mean, if you really had something like Ace King, would you have checked that flop? No, it's a you scary wouldn't. sort yeah, of, of board. Two clubs, a lot of straight draws out yeah, there. Yeah. I mean, maybe you check through. Ah, just could quite easily put him on like Ace Queen, Ace Jack with the Ace of Clubs, couldn't you? It's seventeen thousand more, and regardless of what Martin puts him on, he's definitely under pressure and has yes. to pay to look him up. Yeah, and that's the I thing. Mean, He's, he's played the end really well, Dale, but if he bets the uh, flop, Jesse, he saves himself a few more chips and takes it down at a lesser price, but he's won a few more, so there's, a, there's an argument for every play. The name of the game, Pressure, and Dale Hoy doing the business. You called it Pressure. Coming up, only three go through, and some of them could have a really big stack. I'm kind of a specialist at winning the heat in these television tournaments. Uh, and then going to the semi-final and failing spectacularly. We plan to win, not plan just to make the finals. Please God today, let's get the cards, let's be lucky. I'm going to smash the granny out of this lot in the semi-final. It's the road to the final table. Welcome back. Poker at its best here on the table. I've heard um, on the internet just recently, uh, with all these recent success, Channing, um, He's been touched up by one of the film companies, Jesse. I heard that. Wh which yeah. one is it? The Hammer House of Horrors. We're going to relaunch Alfred Hitchcock. Pass. <laughs> wow, look, look. Oh, he can't wait to get Raised them in. To 6, I know. If it, you know, the, you love the tens, you love the jacks, and as soon as you get called and see a couple over cards on the flop, you wish Pass. you'd never seen them before <laughs> in your Pass. life. Cool. Yeah, you're right. This is a bit of a loose call here from Dale. But, I think um, Dale's come to play. Yeah, yeah, he's gives you that impression early. Eight. Yeah, he's Eight got thousand. it. <laughs> he's got it in his mind. He might be in front here. He's going to pop it up for sure. Raised to 25,000. Andy is pretty good at asking questions with his raises. But that does open you up if a lunatic decides to just... Yeah, well, he's got his answer here, Jess. He knows he's behind now. He looks quite a stubborn player, don't he? He's tough, Dale. Yeah, look. No fear. 
Oh, he's looking the other way, this fella. <laughs> Who's Andy looking at? He's looking the other way. He's looking at the cameras. Look. <laughs> Oh dear, that's funny. They do it. They don't want, don't want to give anything away. Not, today, no. <laughs> Not today. What was that about? That Andy Ward. No, I don't think we did. <laughs> On a nice little <laughs> comeback. He played <laughs> great in his heat. Now looks. I mean, he's pretty happy to be back to the starting stack. I bet. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And we still got um, triggers still top of the tree. We're one two eight, nice Jesse point. and. Um, Pretty boy Martin has got the um, 69,000 at the bottom. Yeah, he's going to need to fight out of this pretty boy. It feels like pretty boy has a his work cut out for him. He's sandwiched between Ward and Channing. Cool. Cool. I mean, I don't know where you'd want to sit on this table. Pass. That's a pretty loose call from Dixie as well, um, considering Pass. how he's been playing. Uh, but Pass. I think he's probably... Uh, Pass. No. Uh, if any of these guys have seen his heat, they've seen that he, pl he plays super tight. Mm. He does, but he does throw in these odd limps every once in a while. <coughs> and Dixie could look at Hoy and think he might be a little bit steamed up. Oh, yeah. Don't like this it's too much. It's King 9, isn't it? No, I don't like this too much. This is this is what gets you, This is the start oh. of a whole it, load of hassle. Exactly, exactly you, you know... You, you don't need to be getting involved with these sort of hands. And I mean, Dale's already shown. Oh, oh well, wow. what do I ever know about poker? Nothing. Look Nothing. He's just, he's going to take Dale. He's, Dale's out. Dale is out. Absolutely unbelievable. And is the best thing for Dixie to do just to call here? Yeah, for sure. I mean, <laughs> I mean, overall, he doesn't oh, look, know. He's him. going into the acting bit now. <laughs> well, he's done. Yeah, okay. he's, he's well done. Cool. He can't possibly put him on a nine, can he? Well, there is no nine that Dixie could be playing in this spot, is there? He might be open. He's got a small pair. Sixes, sevens, something like that. God, you kind of feel bad for Dale over here. His ride on this semi-final table looks finito. 22. 22, oh, Dixie's thinking, please come to daddy. And I mean, you know what the cards are out, but if you're Dixie right there, do you say, let's let him go at it? Or maybe. Yeah, let him, let him fire. He's, he's, he's really short now, Dale. You've got to let him crack on. All right. Oh. Raised. Well, he might get him in anyway. Well, I, I, but Dale could, Dale could please. probably put Dixie on like, he, he could put him on Sorry. a pair of eights, a pair of tens more. even, you know. Yeah, you could also think Dixie thinks Queen King or Queen Jack is really strong. No? Yeah, yeah. Could be. I, I doubt it, though. Not that sort of hand. You wouldn't be raising with Queen Queen Jack, Queen King. Thank you for calling down. Yeah, you'd be only too pleased to call it down. He might still get them, Jesse, but he would have definitely got them with a flat call. Gonna have a think about it, but if you're Dale Hoy right here, I mean, jeez, can you lay down Ace Queen? Do you, do you start wondering if maybe Dixie's got Aces or Kings and has been slow playing you? Whoa, it does come into your mind, but it's a bit tough limping in with that. He's just having a little count up now, seeing what he's gonna be left with, Jess. But I think. If he puts this in, he's going to be paying on the river as well. That's got to be in his mind. I'm, I'm just wondering if there's any real hand Dixie could have that Dale beats, or is it is Dale thinking, well, he's either bluffing oh, or he's got me. Cool. He's gone all he's in. Look, I'm in trouble. He's got him anyway, Dixie. Um, obviously, the heart probably give him a little a little bit of the willies, Dix, and that's why he's moved all in. But there we go. It's an end of end. Yeah, there's one yeah, card there's left, and Dale could hit the queen, but... I thought you had the from losing his ass. Don't feel it. First man right. down. Oh, and and Dale oh, Hoy, oh, that was a pretty cold deck flop situation. Oh, he seemed like he was going to be real powerful. Good luck, Dale. Unbelievable, Jesse, ain't it? You know, there, you know what I mean? He's limped yeah. under the gun, Dixie, with yeah. King yeah. Nine. Yeah. We're saying, yeah. what's that all about? And he gets the absolute <laughs> perfect flop. Incredible. Sometimes that's what it's all about, making the wrong move at the right time. You know it. But the way this hand went down, 
it seemed like a cold deck for Dale. Maybe some guys could have got away cheaper, but I don't know. Well, he, he had a he had a small opportunity on the turn, didn't he? Once Dixie re raises him, he had an opportunity there. That's how it goes. He said to me after the hand, he said, I thought you had the ump because you lost the last hand. But um, look, at the end of the day, the bottom line is, it's to be in the semi-final was magnificent. To get through the heat was great. And just to be involved with the whole thing, um, fantastic. And um, to be on some over the moon. Well, I like the way this has started, Jesse. <laughs> it's oh, a long dear. way from over. I mean, of it, course these it things is, can but happen, but it is, a, it is looking nice. really good for Dixie. Nice yeah. to get out of the traps nice. early. Yeah. What's going through Pretty Boy's head? I mean, obviously he'll he'll be thinking about. I think he. I thought he would be thinking about clamming up a little bit. He's lost a couple of chips. Raised to seven thousand total. He obviously come to have a game. Neil's having a little sniff around. Pass. What is? Pass. Definitely seems <coughs> to have his eye on Martin. Pass. See what he's thinking. I like playing flops. Don't love my cards, oh. but that never stopped me before. Abby's very tricky flop ways. And uh, Martin is very aggressive. Yeah, I mean, obviously Martin's got the um, initiative. <laughs> well, look at this flop. What a flop Check. for action. Up and down he, he must through. bet. <laughs> he must bet this guy. And um, there's no way Abby's going anywhere. It's going to be very hard for Martin to throw it away. He did a magnificent three-barrel bluff against Ben Roberts in his heat. He looks like he's raising here. Yeah, yeah. Minimum raise. Raise to 23,000. And that's a big you think question. Push this well, guy? It's a, uh, oh my gosh! Straight he just pushed away, right look. away. I was saying it was a huge question. How much of that? That, 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 that Abby asked him because Martin could have just called and tried to hit the nuts and then gavin it up on the yeah, turn. Yeah. But he has gone right. He's gone right back to the That's wall 9, here. Oh, I didn't hear how much that was then. That's only 39,000 more. Abby has got him out chipped by about. I think he leaves himself with about 50. 45 or 50 is a must call. Yeah. There we go, I'm Jesse. I'm draw. I hope so. He don't like this. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have nearly as many oh, no. outs, but the fives and sixes are alive, just not the hearts. And as we saw, what is it, about a two-to-one disadvantage for Martin. Do you think he acted before he thought? Oh, oh he hit the nuts! Oh, 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 pretty boy, what a pretty deuce of clubs he's thinking. And now the redraw for Abby Kaitan. Oh, Jesse, it's oh, unreal, yeah. this game. Oh, it's yeah. unreal. That's a hard road. That is a hard road to walk. Oh, mate. Oh, Look at them all. They're all going unlucky, unlucky. They can't wait to get the cards in the air again. The sweet the shop ends. was open, and then it shut for business for pretty boy Martin. Fraser it felt, in a lot of ways, like a pot that didn't need to happen. <laughs> Exactly right. It's, it's, it's just not winner take all here. They're playing for a quarter million. Yeah, two hundred and fifty thousand. They're playing. It's absolutely incredible. Well, he was at the table, and now joining me, Neil Channing, William Martin, done himself there, Neil. But tactics at a semi-final. The tactics are tricky in a semi-final. That's definitely true. There is a, a big dichotomy. On the one hand, you're desperate to get to the final. The, the worst thing that can possibly happen is you go in the semi and you get knocked out. But the second worst thing that can happen is you get to the final with no chips. We're going to carry the chips forward. You need to play some poker and try and win chips. Unfortunately for William Martin, he, he didn't really get the balance right. Yeah, I mean, people say, hey, yeah, five, six suited. You can raise with it even early on. But Abby Kaitan's in the big blind. We saw in his heat, this guy's seeing every flop. Yeah, I have to think that William Martin doesn't know too much about Abby Kaitan. Obviously, for me, I've played Abby a lot. And, and Abby likes to see flops. He likes to call, basically. If you're going to raise out of position on Abby's big blind, you should expect him to call. And at the end of the day, if you've only got six high and you're still there seven-handed in an important semi-final, maybe you should calm down a little bit. And uh, it's funny about the, the, the way it went because uh, all the money in on the flop and they both ended up looking sick as dogs. 
Yeah, absolutely. William uh, hits the nuts on the turn and then Abby improves on the river to make the flush. But um, I think William, he needs to learn that if you're semi-bluffing, you need to have a good chance that the other guy's gonna lay his hand down and maybe Abby Kaitan wasn't the right customer. Well, there's just five left. We're, we're stopping at three, Ian. Uh, I mean, what's in it for you here? Oh, is, is it the pressure? Yeah, oh, for sure it's the pressure. I mean, uh, I think we, we hit that one on the edge, Jesse. They both cracked up pretty fast, didn't they? And then, and then on the flop, but uh, fantastic news for Abby. He's got to be uh, over the moon. Look at Trigger's chip stacks, Jesse. Look, they're all like Roy Brindley. Do you know how he sets his stacks up? He's done the same. Do you know what that means? He don't plan on giving them away. Yeah, absolutely Pass. right. When they set them up all like that, all in colour coordination and Race to 6,000 total. They don't really yeah. want to put them in the middle. With the needle? Same way he combs Pass. his hair. Four strokes to the right, the four strokes to the right. <laughs> two down the centre. Well, look, he's got the ace queen again. It was only a matter of time before he started picking up a few hands. Cool. The raise has come from oh, Abby. I misplayed them in a variety of ways. Abby, he, he, he's limped a couple times, so is Channing giving respect, or does he just not want to play? No, to he's, he's after trapping him. He obviously knows his game. They, they both play up the Vic every day, so. Check. Yep. Check, check. I checked dot. Checking the dot. Huh. Channing knows his hand is good. He's trying to entice a little bit out of him. But Abby's not he, biting. No, he ain't had any luck at all. Well, you get a call here as well. Thousand. Yep, call. Cool. Nice call, cool. cool, hoping that Channing's got a king at the best. And uh, safely played by Neil. If in your mind you think you got the beating of uh, the players around the table on the flops and that, you keep them as small as possible and, until you know you got the nuts and then shovel them all in. Mm. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.net World Open 4. Blinds are up. Five players on this table. Plus. Plus. Cool. Plus. No red. No <coughs> What he, is Channing up to? Yeah, well, he done this last time with Abby, didn't he? he uh, they obviously know their games inside out, these two. And he's Check. quite prepared Check. to uh, limp with a big hand against him. 4,000. He's Ab hit two pair. Yeah. <laughs> Channing's actually drawn kind of live here to the queen. But the ace would be a horrible card for him. Abby's happy to play pots with Channing, and Channing's happy to play pots with Abby. He's got the back door flush here and, and obviously the gut shot, so cool. it's worth a call. This would be music to Abby's ears now. He knows <coughs> Channing's got some of this and uh, he'd be begging for a blank. See, now okay. now he's got his flush draw. I'll bet the pot if I'm Abby here. And Channing's going to have to think about this. He checks Channing for sure. But betting out is... Dangerous, yeah, isn't he it? Can't bet out. He has to check. There's 18,000 in there. It looks weak. I think Seven. If he bets out. 7,000. That looks weak to me. And is there a call here? For, I mean, it, it looks like he's calling call. quick. I, yeah, well, he's obviously. He doesn't know what Channing has. Up. Jesse, he's done his own work with Abby because he's bet the seven and um, he knows he's just called. Look at this. He's just absolutely golden. Um, he's got a he's got a river card there for seven thousand. Whereas he probably knows if he checks, Abby might have bet three times that. It's amazing stuff because I mean I don't know why Abby didn't raise on the turn, but now Channing has the nuts. Yeah, twenty two. And twenty two thousand. I mean you feel like unbelievable. You it's all about nine right? your yeah, best nuts. Jesse, he's played that fantastic, Channing. Oh. Of course, it will. He, you know. But why didn't he raise on the turn? Because uh, Ch Channing, Channing stopped him raising on the turn no, no, no. by betting. It was it. like this a stun right. gun. Yeah, of course. That's what I'm saying. You got to know your customers. <laughs> Channing breaking one open against Abby Kaitan, and Kaitan's still fine. He's still got, you know, just around the chips he started with. 
but morally, that that hurt him, I guess. Oh, that's an absolutely fantastic aim for Channing, and you know he's got plenty of bullets now, Jesse, and. Uh, he won't feel one bit worried now. I think in his mind he's in the final. Yeah, yeah, of course. It was per it was a perfect card on the play. Nervous. I think I think I'd check you about like sixteen thousand or something. Everything but wave a stopwatch and check on the turn. I wonder if he's good at darts. I didn't want to play too much. <laughs> Kaitan's limped check. in again. Check. Check. And I think this is Abby's plan. I mean, just keep kind of running over this uh, these flops until he gets somebody to give him a whole bunch of Ten. chips. Ten thousand. He's he's gonna get called here. You think? Mm. Well, cool. Abby's problem is he's starting to feel like a bit of a calling station. If this comes a heart, I feel sorry for Abby again. Seven of hearts. <laughs> What's this fella done on the way here, Abby? What's he done? He must have kicked a dog or something. Twenty-five thousand. And he ain't gonna pay this one off as well, surely. Oh, well, it's uh, Simon's. Simon's put a nice little bet in yeah, there. Yeah, fantastic. I size mean, from bet. Simon's point of view, couldn't he be getting trapped? Couldn't Abby have some monster? Listen, it's I'll stop trying to read his mind. It's a strong Ten bet years he's ago. Made. He's oh. going to pay him off. I think you missed. He's paying him off. Oh. <laughs> what a body blow. He's thinking, what, I, what am I calling <laughs> station tonight? <laughs> Jeez, poor Abby K. Turn. He, is, he has gotten done on the river now. Twice sure in a row. He'll be absolutely <laughs> gutted, his Jesse. He's looking down at his oh. chips, look. He's awesome absolutely man. gutted. Yeah. What is the mental game plan for some of these guys for the next 20 hands yes. in this level? I mean, are the top guys, are they just looking not to lose any chips? Yeah. Exactly that. Pass. 19. Raise to 19,000. Looks 20. like Abby is thinking this is the level he's either going to be Wow, well, look at this, Jesse. It's unbelievable. We call this all the time. It's a. Win. It's amazing. Win. He's going to call Abby for sure. The big raise all in. Either Andy is trying to make this look like an over raise and get called, it, or, or, or he doesn't want action. It stinks of Ice King, Jesse. That's, that's, that's exactly, why he's done it. Yeah. And Abby knows that. Well, that's what he'll be thinking, yeah. He thinks he's up against Ace King. Oh, he is going to be surprised. Yeah. And we could be four-handed, well, basically yeah, even among them, the after yeah. this. You know what I'll say about the sixes? Well, if they ever needed to flop a set, he and <laughs> now is well, swearing Trigger pass one, so it's a bit slim. And the, the suits don't matter. There are no backdoor flushes out there for Kaitan. He's got a potential runner runner straight and the live six. And it's it's just looking thin right now. We're down to four. And we are. The bullets. Yeah, that's just a complete cold deck. You can't hold that. No problem. He was always gonna call the sixes. We're on the bubble. For Abby Kaitan, a lot of almosts tonight. If he could have changed four or five river cards, Abby would have had a whole load of chips. But then this last hand, Andy made a play that made it look like Ace King. Yeah, in my eyes, exactly that. Bullets held. And Ward now one of the chip leaders. I should have followed my own advice uh, and not get tangled with informed Neil Channing. And I did, and he hit runner runner. And I got depleted. Then one, uh, I think Simon, rivered me. And then I was short stacked and with sixes I raised uh, and the small blind moves all in. I think it's a race so I call he's got aces and I didn't suck out. Welcome back to the PartyPoker.net World Open 4 and there's four still to be shown the door. It was four handed in Andy Ward's heat when he just destroyed them. Ooh. 
All in? All in. Wow. Don't like this at all. That's a 147. Oh, my. I don't like this at all, the all in. It's asking for trouble. Simon looks... God, Trig. I don't know how you'd find a call, but I hope you do. I couldn't, but... Um, wow, what is Andy Ward thinking? He might do. It don't look like he likes it, Simon. I can't see him calling, Jesse, but I just hope something yeah. falls off of the light shade above it, him on the canister and makes him call. Pass. You wouldn't have called there. No. No, you can't, can you? Feels like Pass. an insane play for Andy Ward, but clearly he... These no, plays never get what they deserve, Jesse. This is the thing. Sorry? I said that would be one to ask the boys later. Yeah. <laughs> they, they never get what they deserve, these, these plays. Yeah. I was a little bit worried about Simon for a while, but he's actually looking like he's starting to take to this. <laughs> I mean, Pass. he's enjoying himself, I know that. Pass. Big fold there for Andy Ward on the button. Queen 9. Wow, look at this. 24. Lordy. Raised to 25,000. No, 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 no. Well, it is a bit of a smaller raise, and. Oh, that's what Channing's realized. And he's. Oh. It, this has oh. got a chance to work out really well for him and for Simon mm. Crane to get in trouble. Channing may just slip this, no matter what comes. Well, oh, maybe not. Check. Check. I just felt that. Oh, dear. I just felt that. Check. 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 And Channing will be, well, he'll feel like he's pretty confident that he's got the best hand. 25. 25,000. Played it funny. Certainly played it funny. Craig's sitting there thinking my queen don't might. Don't have a wobble up. <laughs> well, I mean, well, you can he's never thinking my he's queen might do. be good. I mean, it's not. That's it gone from away. I mean, he's just trying to think, well, if Neil really had nothing, would he have, wouldn't he have bluffed nice. earlier? Oh, he said raise. Yeah, no. I have an ace. No, he I said, do you have an ace? He said, do you have an ace? Oh, I thought he said raise. He's curious. He's very curious. Cool. Cool. Not just one, but <laughs> two aces. Got it. <coughs> one would have been nice. Hmm? What would have? <laughs> one would have been nice. <laughs> oh, one ace. <laughs> oh. I thought you said a queen would have been nice. <laughs> I think I've played eight television one table tournaments. Uh, I won the table four out of eight times, and I've never made it through the semi final. So. I'm probably not the right person to ask how you manage to get through these semi-finals. Um, I've always kind of figured that you should just approach them in the same way. Uh, and when you get down to four players, if three go through, you should try and play aggressively so you can get some chips for the final. Uh, I don't think I've ever managed to get down to the four players. Maybe once and I came fourth. Uh, I'm just going to try and play steady early. I don't know all of the players on the table. I haven't played with all of them before, which is different from in the heat where I knew them well. Uh, so I want to try and suss people out, see how they're reacting, try and suss out who really cares about qualifying and who's trying to push on and get chips for the final. I think that's the important thing. I've added it all up wrong. <laughs> Not for the first time. Come on, Dix. Why couldn't have he had these last hand? Cool. Cool. Well, he's never. He ain't called. <laughs> he ain't called. A, well, he did. He limped him. Would nice. <laughs> ain't called a bet for well, three. Was I mean, sorry, roughly. Look at this. Look, he would have come over the top, Neil. Roughly, nearest thing. Would have. Probably about sixty now. I don't know. Yeah, more than that. Looks like more than that. He's doing he's everything he possibly can for Neil to put his yeah. chips in. I love him. Sixty. 
That would do. That would give me an idea. Yeah. Yeah. So that's about, that. about 100. Yeah. If he raises a fancy Neil comes over the top, Jess, what do you think? I do. It's a question of whether this is a. If Neil can get out of this pickle, I mean, if Neil doesn't raise here, then his alarm yeah, bells have gone completely oh, come on, off. He's all in. Yeah, I mean, no look at this. Look at this deck. All four aces are out. Cool. Pass and a call. Yeah. yeah, no clubs, por favor. Neil knew it was a possibility, and it would have been very difficult for Neil to get away from that. Dixie gave him an opportunity, but Neil just didn't believe it. Too unlikely, he thought. Had to be aces or the king knows. Bro. Like you just said, uh, Dixie gave him every opportunity not to put a chip in the pot, didn't he? Yeah, that's it. Go. That is it. Big <coughs> double up for Dixie Ooh, Dean. Could it sweat be? Sweat over. Sweat over. Neil Channing back in the muck of it. What a time to pick up the rockets, eh? When you're right on your back foot, your coat's swinging on the old coat, coat rack over in the corner. <laughs> yeah, Dixie. New right. chip leader. <laughs> you know, the 93, times the old 40, ones are the 60, good ones. 70, I mean... 93. That limp in with the aces. Paid off sweet potatoes. You watch me. I'll be blasting into that small per the person that's small stacked, I'll be blasting into them if I get a chance to take their chips so that I'm ready. When I don't want to just go to the final with a small stack, I want to go there to win it. I'm all in. 100, all in. 142. The blinds are so big it's expensive <coughs> now. Come and on, Trig, find a call. What? He may draw his line in the sand. First time he's been right to. Can't keep that. You're right. Oh, right. Can't keep that. Oh, dicks. Oh, dear. Wow. Go on, son. Now, Dixie does have Neil covered by about 60. So much harder to call off your chip. Well, though. of course it is, but you know oh, Neil's going to be doing it every single time. Uh, the only thing that'd be in Dixie's mind, I reckon, is because trigger's so short, he might decide not to call. That could be the only thing. Dixie knows this is ahead. He knows it's ahead, and is still not sure if he wants to take yeah, it. Yeah, right. Out. I'm nervous. I don't have aces. Knows it's ahead and he's still not sure he wants mm. to take it on. Could just be a little race, you know? Does he want to take on like a 50 50 if Neil's got pocket fours? I understand, but um, Neil's, Neil's going to do it every time now, ain't he? And I think the 60,000 that he got, that he's got back is if he wants to win that first prize, if he wins this, a, yeah. he's 350,000 yeah, in the I'm chip passed. lead. Oh, he's passed. passed. Well, that's pressure, man. Yeah, it's pressure. There is philosophical reasons to actually fold that hand. There are some very good players who would fold that ace-queen there. Definitely. I mean, th 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 we've made the point before in these spots that no limit hold'em is about giving yourself two chances to win. With me raising there with the jack eight suited, I've got two chances. One. Dixie and Simon might fold their hand and I pick up the blinds, which are 715, you know, I'm picking up 22,000, I've only got 140 on. This gives me a, a lot of extra chips to work with. Secondly, if they do call me, well, I've still got a jack and an eight to hit. I might make a flush or a straight. I'm quite lucky generally, you never know. I might win the hand. Um, so I'm giving myself two chances to win. If Dixie calls, he's only giving himself one chance to win. And that one chance is that his ace queen holds up. So there is an argument for saying that as long as Dixie's then prepared, when the next couple of hands come up, to stick his whole lot in with jack seven or jack six or whatever rubbish he gets dealt and try and steal Andy's blind or steal my blind. I'm not sure whether he was ready to do that though. There was a point a little while ago when Dixie was thinking, all I have to do is sit here and I'll be on the final table. And now Dixie's looking at his chips and saying, you know, I, I may have a little work to do here before Pass. I make that final table. And of course, Andy might do the work I'm for in. everybody. Oh, cool. All in, Anna. Wow, that was a quick call. Uh-oh. 
That was a quick call Chad, from Neil. Chad, he was waiting for that. Oh, we found him out. Jesus. Found him out, yeah. They have some lights in yeah. the deck, I believe. Jeez, he called him with King Queen. Yeah, yeah. He called him with King Queen. Cool. Called him with King Queen. Well, so would I. He's been doing it. You know what I mean, Jesse? You can't just keep moving all in. If King 8 wins, Andy Ward is massive chip leader. I'm not saying it will. Jeez, Channing will have 312,000. Oh, I see. He's got the spades covered. Yeah, Channing will like that flop. He called him instantly. Yeah, he did, yeah. Couple smack pots out there. Ward not being greedy says, I'll take the Who's split, give me a jack. Yes, mate. Flush. That's it, and, uh... Yep, yeah, you certainly can, oh, man. Oh, my. That's bad news for the other two guys. They're in 25. Andy so Ward still has 170,000. If he had won that pot, he would have had nearly half a million. But as it is, Channing all of a sudden. Relentless. Oh, that was called him a king queen instantly. Yeah. One four one and the pot. And Andy Ward will look nice down. Yeah, where did they all go? Well, they all went lefty. We get down to four-handed. It's going to totally depend on the on the chip stacks, on the sizes of the chip stacks, on what the other players are doing. You know, in an ideal world, I would be chip leader, and the three other guys would be clinging on. Then I could really press them. If I'm a short stack. It depends, to, it depends if there's anyone shorter than me. It's all about the relative stacks and positions and you have to try to put yourself in the other player's shoes, try to work out what he's thinking, whether he's trying to attack or defend and kind of zig when he zags, if you know what I mean. Look at this. 55. Total. Raised to 55,000 total. Oh, oh, mind you. At least he's got an overcard. Call in. Call. Call in. Call. Oh, bollocks. Oh. <laughs> well, that's how he feels right now. And it's only because it's gone Listen, so long. He hit a king last time. He can do it again. 372,000 in this pot. God, I imagine Trigger going through to the final with that. Oh, my gosh. 70% here for Channing. The ladies. And if these hold, oh, and they're holding so far, bullet. Channing's going to be chip leader. Craig needs the king. Oh! That's dear. close. Oh. He's got more chance of hitting it now. Oh, man. They've what done it. Hate that was. They <laughs> have done it. And you know, for a guy who doesn't play poker <laughs> full time, Simon Craig, I mean, he put up a fight. Wow, well, what a hate that ever he was. He put it's up a fight and a half. He went 54 rounds. And then played overtime. Yeah, money well. comes to money. Well, he has a real sweat up. Oh, I'll be wait for someone to knock somebody out or make a move and get some chips for the final. So, made the move. Still had, obviously, more than live cards. So, yeah, King could have held up. Yeah, he's come. That's poker, apparently. <laughs> Half of the final table is set. Look at the chips they'll be taking forward to that final table. And, I mean, Channing tried maybe the hardest. They all played brilliant, yeah, Jesse. That was truly a, a spectacular semi. Um, I was so pleased that uh, I was here to be able to commentate on it. Um, 388 mess. not guaranteed to be the chip lead at the final table, but there's a strong possibility. Well, that took some winning, didn't it? Hello. And congratulations, Neil Channing, chip leader. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I'm very pleased. I, I've, uh, I was saying before I played uh, four of these semi-finals. I've never been through one yet, so uh, I've cracked it now. 
And you had to sweat some bullets to get there. Yeah, it really did. Yeah, I, uh, I snap called Andy with the King Queen, and uh, I've been telling my poker verdict teammates no snap calling. It tells people that you're cleverer than them and you know what they're doing. And I knew he was stealing off me. <laughs> but I, I shouldn't snap call. I should have made it look like it was a hard decision. Well, congratulations to all you guys. Dixie, I mean, that was a hard go, but, you know, maybe uh, bittersweet, but with 120, every chance in a final. Yeah, it's awful. I've got a very good friend of mine sitting bang next to me, small, chip, small stacked. And I'm, I find myself wishing him to go out, and it's not nice. But that, it, that's what it happens. I mean, it's, if it's not you, it's him, right? That's yeah, forehanded. That's right. That's right. But it, it was it was a great hit, great hit. It must have been a lot of fun. I mean, that's that's poker pressure, wasn't it? It was. It was. Uh, I, I should have studied this for Andy up because uh, I'm I'm intrigued to know what he kept going all in. <laughs> Andy, congratulations. You were the mystery man there. I mean, uh, they really didn't know what you were doing, but everybody wanted to see your hands. Um, I guess there, there's, you know, you come into it, you come into it fresh, and you don't know the other players, and they don't know you, so you've got a bit of a clean slate, really. What what Dixie was just saying about having friends at the table. I'm a good friend of Neil's, but I was absolutely rooting for him to get knocked out, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> and you played a pot for over half a million there, uh, basically, or basically half a million. To be I guess, yeah. I mean, this is the thing with this style of play: you press and press and press, and eventually you will get caught. But the point is, you win one in three of these pots. And if I, if, I, would, I must be silly thinking I can get lucky in a pot against this guy. But <laughs> if I, if I spike something on that pot, I've just got huge chips. But I'm happy to be to be going into the, still the, the, the second half here. Yeah. Well, there, there were some bookmakers making you the favorite uh, before this started, Neil. Uh, now, leader, looks like you could be leader at the final table. Do you make yourself favorite here? I'm favorite for everything at the moment. The 100 meters in the Olympics. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> well, great stuff. Best of luck, guys. And of course, uh, have to look on the second semifinal. We'll see what the chip counts will be there. There is a second semifinal to come. And of course, they'll all be looking to top Neil Channing's 388,000 at the final table. Next time, there'll be blood to the brain as seven more sit down, including a gentleman, a horse, and a man named Fronda. Here on the PartyPoker.net World Open Forum.